What do you call me? Yeah. me no? Do you call me? Yeah. me no, 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 Yes, faith even when faced with challenges from the adversary. I'm speaking to a Job today. You lost your job. Your family have turned on you. You don't know where your next meal is coming from. But is your faith still standing firm like Job had is? Or maybe I'm speaking to a Martha. You're worried. You've been praying, asking God for a breakthrough. You've been seeing your fridge empty. You've been seeing where your job is at risk. You might have lost your job as well. You might have a very miserable boss and you just can't bother with the person you want to tell them your mind. But still, let me remind you of a friend. I have a friend whose name is called Abraham. Abraham had everything you can think of. But yet still, he left all those possessions behind and walked and stepped in faith. So today, friend, if it is that you have been praying about something that you don't see the way out for, remember this. Just as though God came through for Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even when the fire was turned up seven times hotter, that's when Christ is telling you to continue, keep on going. Because guess what? That's when your faith is being tested. That's when your test is developing your testimony. So, hold on just like Daniel, who was thrown in the lion's den, he kept his faith, it didn't diminish, it didn't waver, it didn't fade. And so today I'm speaking to someone. You might have been home, you've been on your knees, you don't see the time coming through yet because you've been praying and you've lost hope. But remember that even though Christ was four days late for Lazarus, he was right on time. I want to remind someone today who is going through a doubtful Thomas situation. Remember this. Christ is always there with you. It doesn't matter if you don't have any food in your fridge. You don't see where you're getting the next bill paid. You don't see where your boss is treating you well. 
but sometimes that's how God has to get our attention so that we can be able to have trust and faith in him continue to hold firm in faith today yes i'm speaking to you god man yes i'm speaking to you mother was giving up on your child yes i'm speaking to you as well that person who thought of taking your life don't be like jonah today who had his assignment and took a detour having to learn from a bad experience when he could have learned from God's instructions. So even if you're faced today by the adversaries, keep your faith even in times of adversities.